channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sherry. I got a new suitcase. So I have a carry-on suitcase that I love. It is a Samsonite. I've had it for a few years. It's a soft-sided luggage. Um, and it's been great. And there's nothing wrong with it. But I wanted to get a new piece of carry-on because my son had a carry-on. And he's about to be nine. And the carry-on that he had was more of a smaller, it was for kids, it was from Pottery Barn, it was super cute, it had Avengers on it, he still has it. But it just got to be too small for him, so he needed a bigger carry-on. So instead of buying one for him, I bought one that I've had my eye on for a while. Here it is. So, this is by the brand Away. And if you are a traveler and you are on Instagram, I feel like you probably are getting served ads for them. And it is, this is the bigger carry-on flex. So for the carry-ons, they have four, they have a few options. They made like four main options, which is going to be the carry-on, the bigger carry-on, the flex, and then the carry-on, the bigger carry-on flex. So this is the bigger carry-on flex in the color petal. The pedal was sold out forever and it came back into stock a couple weeks ago and I ordered it the minute it came back in to stock. So away luggage is not cheap. It's definitely an investment, but if you, you're probably watching this because you might be looking for a new suitcase and if you've done your research, you know it has great reviews. I personally have friends who have them and swear by them and are purchasing additional pieces, which I think is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, but a little bit more about this suitcase. Let me get my phone so I can give you the exact specs. Okay, so the bigger carry-on flex comes in six colors. Like I said, this is the color petal. And a little bit more about it. So the bigger carry-on flex has the expansion, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but this size luggage definitely tests the limit of a carry-on. So the size of the carry-on is 22.7 by 14.7 by 9.6. Now, most airlines, the carry-on dimensions are 22 by 14 by 9. So you're adding like 0.6 or 0.7 larger. However, most airlines don't blank at it um, and on the away website there is a little chart that shows you which airlines this does and does not fit as a carry-on now the part of the reason why I got it is well there's many reasons but the material so this is a polycarbonate and it is a hard-sided luggage but the this type of material is very very durable um, so it does bend, it does have some give to it, so you can, I don't know if you can be able to see this, like you can see that you can kind of like push it in, and that is very helpful in that it helps it, because it's not so rigid, it helps it from breaking, but it's also hard enough um, that it won't crack. I've had hard side luggage before, and well, I love it, it has always cracked, not long after I got it. This suitcase does have the four spinners, um, and so you can, I like these because when I walk through the airport, I will just, like, you kind of just need to barely touch the suitcase, and it'll roll along, which is nice. It also has the handle on the bottom, which is nice, so you can pull it out. And of course, it has the side handles. I like the profile of these side handles. See how they lay, like, almost, can you even see that, almost flat, and then they kind of come out, and there's also one here on the top. And then, of course, it has the, um, the handle, the retractable handle, I guess you'll call it. One of the, well, there's lots of amazing things about this suitcase, but one of the amazing things is that this suitcase only weighs 8.55 pounds. Um, I've had other carry-ons that weigh like 10 pounds before you even put anything in there. And you might be saying like, does that really matter? Well, it does because on some international flights, you, there is a weight limit for your carry-on. Um, you don't really see that too much domestically within the US, but internationally, we have a flight coming up, and we, um, when I checked the airline specifications, the carry-on 
weight could only be 15 pounds. So if your suitcase is already 10, that means you can only put five in there. Um, so this gives you a couple of extra pounds. Now, the flex portion of it comes when you expand it. So of course you just unzip it all the way around. And a little touch, which is just me being extra, is that when you expand it, it's pink, it's not black. I guess I kind of thought it would be black, like be very generic, but it's pink, so you can't really tell. So when you expand it, this gives you an extra 2.25 inches of space. However, when you expand it, you're probably gonna have to check this bag. I don't think that any airline is going to allow you to um, bring it on. I could be wrong, but I don't think that many airlines are going to let you bring it on um, if it's expanded. However, if you're like me, when you come home and have more things than what you left with, this is a nice feature um, because I'm not really as concerned about losing my luggage coming home as I am going because... 99% of the time, knock on wood. Um, if you lose your luggage, it's not really lost. It will come back to you. It just may take a few days. So I don't mind potentially checking this bag on the way home. However, the color, it's probably gonna get scuffed and I know the first like scratch, I'm gonna be devastated. So it does have a TSA approved lock, which is nice if you do have to check it. Um, or I like this kind of thing because if you have to leave your luggage with Bell Services, um, if you're checking in early or checking out and going to do stuff, you can lock your suitcase. Okay, so here we are to the inside of the suitcase. And on this side, there's like this mesh pocket. So let me pull this up so you can see. And it is a nice deep mesh pocket on that side and then on this side is it's kind of hard to see but on this side is this compression pocket sleeve thing so it has the these that you can tighten to smush all your clothes down and then inside is like this very thin it's just like a plastic tube I guess with the the pocket. So the pocket is mesh. And here's some things inside of it. Let's see what this is. I think this is like a dry erase, not a dry eraser, what's it called? Magic eraser to get the scuffs off. I think that is a pretty common complaint. Oh, that's just like that moisture thing. And then here is everything you need to know about your suitcase little thing. But I like this pocket here. I think it'd be great for like bras, underwear, bathing suits, things that you can kind of lay flat. And then here is kind of the meat of the suitcase where you're going to put, I think, the most of your items. But you do have the, um, the handle there. Over here, as all away suitcases have, is your um, dirty clothes bag. So it does snap in there, but you can lay it Archie, do you need to get out? Okay, so here is the dirty clothes bag and you could fill it up and then really like just lay it flat in here. Um, it does have a snap. So you can remove it. You can even put shoes or something in here if you didn't have something to put them in. Um, but that's that and then has that like that little bag there. But there is one reason there's many reasons why I got this suitcase. The biggest reason why I got this suitcase is because if you know me, you know that I am a germaphobe. And there is nothing that I hate more than my luggage being dirty on the inside. And, oops, and you, there we go. Like you put your dirty clothes in your luggage and it stinks and it can get dirty and I just think it's gross. And I love the suitcase because the lining comes out and I can wash it. So one of the big reasons why I use packing cubes is so that, that, that my clothes like don't touch the dirty inside of the luggage. But now I don't have to because I actually think that I can do better um, with, and both sides come out. I think I can do better packing without a packing cube than with a packing cube specifically for small suitcases like this. But both sides of 
this. Come out to wash. Okay, so there, here's like the inside of the luggage. And this material, I have heard that it's like super flexible and so that makes it better. I don't know if that's true, we'll see. But here's like little straps. This is the inside of the away luggage. Okay, that's my tour of the bigger carry-on flex. Tell me in the comments below, do you already own away luggage? Do you absolutely love it? I'm already eyeing one of the suitcases, the larger suitcase. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because it's expensive, but also I don't know if I want the color petal because I have to check that bag or if I should get like a black or a gray to kind of complement it. I don't know. What do you think? Am I crazy for getting the petal? A lot of people have it. So, I mean, they sell a lot of them. So let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every week and I have some amazing travel vlogs coming up from some pretty cool destinations we're visiting very soon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.